Hey guys, and we are back with another video. Today we're covering the Montessori homeschool, the Montessori method. Um, now some schools do use this. You can use this at home. It is self-directed. Now this is a little bit differently than what um, unschooling is. So when we talk about Montessori, we usually are thinking about kids that are between the ages of one to two all the way up to about six years old some schools go beyond that but it's usually ending around second or third grade with the Montessori method I have not seen beyond that I could be wrong I'm just saying from my um, information from my research it has really not gone beyond that um, so this is more aimed towards the preschoolers nothing wrong with that it is self-guided and very much self lessened skills so skills things like getting dressed um things like i'm trying to show um like if i wanted to pour this into a cup like letting your kids practice that there's a little bit in cooking but it's more play it's very um natural so they don't believe in having them really watch a lot of TV or movies, especially nothing with talking animals, nothing really that much animated. Um, everything is wood, no plastic. Everything is self-directed. So, you know, a little chair and table for your kid that they can sit down and they could eat or they could play at. Um, the bed would be on the floor. I mean, you can you can read more into this. There's nothing wrong with this, okay? This does not work for everyone. Now, if this is what you think is best for your child, absolutely go for it. I applaud you. I will say from my personal experience, I thought this method was amazing. I was always kind of, before I knew about unschooling, this is what I'm going to tell you. Montessori was one of those um, methods where I thought was a wonderful idea to help a child become more independent. Um, but it did not work for my child. Okay. There were just things that, while I used some of those methods, there were just certain things that mm, he needed a little bit more safety priority um and montessori doesn't really give that so if you have a special needs child i will just say this might not be your best option but again there is a lot that you can do they do cover a lot of different subjects there are so many pinterest boards out there that you can use on montessori um and there's even books dr maria montessori is the founder in 19 in the early 1900s so you can read more about her that's pretty much all i got to say on montessori i hope that this was eye-opening and i hope to see you guys next time